When Dr. Roger Leconte was told the expense of developing a new diagnostic tool for human applications would be too expensive, he thought, why not develop a positron emission tomography scanner for small animals? One of the first image we got with the prototype is the image of the skull of a, of a rat. Now the skull of a rat is very thin, it's less than one millimeter thick. And people said, well, you, you will never see it. The resolution is two, three millimeter at best in pet. No, we could see it, we, we could see it. So it was a kind of a demonstration that we could do better than what theory expected out of, uh, of PET uh, as in terms of resolution. However, his research was not without its skeptics initially, and a few thought that he would never be able to get it to work. But it was after partnering with Dr. Ray Jean Fontaine that their team was able to take the development of the Lab PET digital scanner to the next level and discover how to extract the most information possible from this emerging technology. One, one of the first things that we heard from other competitors or other researchers that are working with, we are somehow crazy. Why? Because the amount of electronics we have to build, because we have one-to-one -one coupling, it's, it's huge. Thanks to their innovative and collaborative approach, they were able to achieve success where previously no research had ventured before. Initially, uh, PET scanners had uh, a ring of one ring of detector, so you, you would get a slice and you could reconstruct the image of this slice. With the progress of detectors and uh, a reconstruction algorithm, now we, we really get a 3D image. And the impact on the field of biomedical research has been substantial by the development of their lab pet scanner. With one animal, you get a lot of data that uh, you would need 50, 100 animals to get the same data using the conventional way of doing it. And much of that success can be attributed to groundbreaking avalanche photodiode and electronics development by their team to improve sensitivity and resolution to levels never before seen in positron emission tomography. This diagnostic tool developed by researchers Lecomte and Fontaine at the Sherbrooke University Hospital Center has become a laboratory essential in many molecular imaging labs and is now used in 40 of the largest research laboratories and universities in the world and is a testament to the success of their interdisciplinary endeavors. The multidisciplinary team, this is what, in my, on my side, this is what is the most important thing. I like to be surrounded by a lot of people with different expertise. Mine is only the contribution in the, in the field. This award is for everybody uh, in my lab and everybody that, uh, that have been in my lab and every collaborators also that have helped to, uh, to achieve what we have done. Dr. Roger Leconte and Dr. Ray Jean Fontaine, the 2012 co-recipient of the $25,000 David E. Mitchell Award of Distinction.